What's up, folks? We're back on the road. Three Pound Fishing loves getting on the road. We're going to go visit our fine friends down there at PTG, and they're going to put something extremely special on sickness today, and I can't wait to walk you through it. This is going to be a game changer for the crappie industry. Um, it already is a game changer. It's kind of like the equivalence when we got our old Trexes and when we got live scope. That's how important it is for us guys that are wanting to scope those fish. So today, we're gonna be installing crappie brakes at PTG. I'm gonna walk you through that. I'm also gonna kind of walk you through the town, some other things that you should know about Grenada. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see it installed, how they work, the whole nine yards. It's gonna be a great episode. Stick with me, here we go. What's the new part? Is it this part that was new this year? Yes. Mm -hmm. And here's the owner of, of PTG, Miss Patsy. She's cooking for fine lunch for all the people working hard. All right, folks, it's here at PTG. I'll introduce you to Brandon. You've met him several times before here in a second, but I'm kind of gonna kind of sad to see that the back of the boat is about to change and it's always the the last time i'm seeing it this way you guys are going to see it with the new crappie brakes put on and you can get these over at ptg they install them they do it all they'll sell them to you um it's just going to be a game changer for crappie fishing so they actually will go right on the power poles here and uh, we'll kind of show you some of the install process of that but um, this is something I think you can do at home, so you can just purchase them here at PTG, but uh, you can also take advantage of their service here and they'll put them on there for you. So there's the back of sickness right there. It's actually a 40 pound thrust, I believe, Endura trolling motor, and we'll get one of those on each of those power poles. Look at those sickness. Looks like it's getting its rear end worked on right there. So do me a favor tell me what you're gonna how you're gonna set these up i think a lot of people are going to be you know talking about electronically how is it going to be hooked up to the boat uh, can it still draw amps etc so the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to feed my wire down my positive is going to go to battery from the trolling motor my negative i'm going to put on a breaker to be able to turn it on and off feed it up front on the negative and back on the negative to hit the trolling motor negative on the battery. And that way you have your full current to go through. Perfect. I guess one of the things I hadn't talked about is it's a stomp switch, right? Yes. So we'll have a stomp switch on the front of the boat when we want to slow down so that we don't disrupt the crappie. I'll be able to hit a button and both those props will, will fire off and stop in the boat apparently within about six feet apparently at full throttle apparently you can make a really quick stop and it'll look very much like those power pole stomp switches right there i bet you they have it up here let's check it out real quick so that's the advantage of crappie the crappie breaks is that instead of having to reverse thrust and throw that over the fish you're going to be able to stomp and it's going to happen at least 20 feet behind you actually further than that because the power poles are extended out so i mean far enough away from the crappie that it hopefully doesn't disrupt them since it's way back there so total game changer in regards to being able to slow yourself down and and target just one crappie all right guys um we're all familiar with grenade i figure i'd take a break from ptg right now and show you what the drawdown truly looks like in the heart of the winter time um, it's amazing it's a different look and we're right now we're passing over graysport bridge and i'm going to give you a view of that right now here we go check it out folks This is truly amazing. I mean, I've never seen it like this. I know this is typical. This is typically what they do every year, but that is spectacular when you see it in the spring and what you see now is just completely different. I mean, just amazing. Look at all that timber out there. I don't know if you can appreciate it, 
but I mean an ungodly amount of timber out there. I had to get out of my truck <laughs> just, just to appreciate this. There's the bridge and that is the coolest thing ever. Just totally different. Down here on the boat ramp. I mean, just look at that, guys. That's something else. All right, guys, the crappie brakes are installed, and I've got Brandon Upchurch here to walk us through the installation and exactly what crappie brakes, what, what they offer in terms of the powers and et cetera, and walk us through it. All right, so uh, main reason to have crappie brakes is to be able to slow your boat or either back your boat off a of fish whenever you're running up on them and not having to turn your uh, front trolling motor around and wash them out. Um, I mean, you got a 21 foot boat, they're sitting back a little bit further than that. Most of the time, the racket from them won't hurt anything. I don't see it spooking them. Um, basically, you've got a bracket right here, it goes on your pole. Um, now, this can it be eat any blades, uh, Sportsman Series, Pros on the power pole side, or it could be for the Minn Kota Raptors. You've got another bracket right up here, up top. And if you'll notice, we'll let them down here in a second. I'll show you that, that it's a waterproof enclosure, so you don't have to worry about sitting them down and swamping your, your trolling motors and killing them um, after time. All right, guys, so this is our waterproof enclosure that we got, and we get crappie brakes up in Batesville to actually make this stuff for us. It is uh, heavy duty. You don't have to worry about it, like I said. And having this sealed and watertight is the key. And then we got this line right here running all the way back into the back, going into the back of the boat, and then that's, that's where it's hooked into the breaker, which all your power feeds right there. So both of these are on their own separate breakers and uh, wired separately. Tell them about what kind of thrust powers you have options for. Uh, you can do 30, uh, 40, 45, I mean, really anything. Um, now, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, advise going with like a 24 volt system just because I believe the shaft diameter is a little bit bigger and I don't think they will fit these bottom brackets or the top. But 12 volt, um, you can go as high as the 12 volts go. All right, so that's, that's the rundown. Let me tell you, the installation took roughly around two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, it is gonna be a game changer. I've, I've heard so many people brag about the crappie brakes, so I'm very excited to be have them on the boat. And PTG, you gotta give them a holler for sure. And you can actually hear, Brandon's actually playing with the button up there. And that's them working right there. And the idea is that you have a, what do we call that, a stomp button? Stomp, stomp switch. Stomp switch. So anytime I'm up there and I'm coming up on a crappie, I just have to hit, pump that right there with the power poles down and it'll give me a really quick stop. Now it does work with rafters and other... Yeah. Okay. Any any kind of poles except the talons. It won't work with those. Okay. Is what it is. So check out PTG. Give them the contact information if you don't mind. All right, you can call us at 662-459-9311 or you can check us out online, ptgoutdoors.com, Facebook, PTG Outdoors, and any other kind of social media. Now, I, I really believe this is a game changer. I think the old Trex was a game changer. I think obviously live scope is a game changer, but the crappie brakes, I swear that's the net, that is the game changer you're going on right now. And um, get a hold of them soon because I'm telling you right now, they won't last for sure. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one.